भाई जेठानी रहती है देहरादून में शायद वही तो तो जैसे आपको लगता है महसूस यहाँ से निकलने की कुछ नहीं है यहाँ पे उसके लिए जाना चाहिए शहर सोचते तो है कहीं बाहर जाने का फर्ज अभी बच्चे भी छोटे ऐसे प्रॉब्लम है घर में तो इसीलिए जा नहीं पाएंगे बस आज तक चाहो हमारो सत अब मेहमान विज्ञान है कम था मैली हत उन्नीस में एक साइक्लोन आया था जिसकी वजह से हमारा सारे घर बार टूट गया था और उसी पर परेशान होकर आ गए थे दिल्ली हम जब आए हमें देखे कि कम से कम सौ डेढ़ सौ आदमी थे तो हमारे गांव से भी नहीं थे आसपास गांव के थे पूरा नोएडा के कम से कम तो पाँच हजार से ऊपर होंगे बारिश अच्छी हो गई तो फिर हम लोग हैं जो है ए उसी में पालन पोषण कर लेते हैं थोड़ी बहुत गांव में मजदूरी कर लेते हैं तो सही गुजर बसर कर लेते हैं और अगर बारिश नहीं हुई तो हमको बाहर सब लोगों को जाना पड़ता फिर तो बाबा जी दिले रे गे जाको दिन डोला ने रे दाई बोडा जी न दिल चा डांडा पर सस ससुरो की सेवा कन अब दिन रात अब मेहमान में क्यों है कम था मेरी हाथ A strong start of the monsoon has brightened the prospects of a bumper output of summer crops in a country where the majority of agricultural land is rain-fed. But this year, the heavy rains have also caused widespread havoc and devastation across the country. The worst affected is the state of Uttarakhand. It's been described as the Himalayan tsunami. Days of heavy monsoon rain have swept away roads and buildings. Rescue missions have been on for the past few days to help evacuate people who have been stranded in different districts of Uttarakhand. 73,000 people are still stuck in Uttarakhand, many of them pilgrims from other states who were headed to the four shrines. It was a summer no one had imagined. The monsoon winds wrought havoc at the temple town of Kedarnath. The valley was nearly swept away. Over within moments, area, the devastation simply and and the scale of what's happened here at Kedarnath. It was over. As per government estimates, nearly 5,700 people died. Even after a year, the temple town still wears a deserted look. What was a bustling tourist destination is trying to find its feet. जिंदगी के इतने साल यहाँ पे हो चुके हैं, पर भाव तो बहुत पड़ा है, बहुत ज़्यादा प्रभाव पड़ा है। यहाँ के बिजनेसमैन जो हैं, इनको देख रहे थे भूखमरी की कगार पे हैं। दो साल पहले तो एक दिन में लगभग दस से पंद्रह हजार यात्री यहाँ पे आ जाते थे। ये दोनों � श्रद्धालुओं की संख्या बहुत कम हुई है जो एक समय 15,000, 20,000 की क्षमता रखते थे आज वो डेढ़ सौ दो सौ पे सिमट गई है देवली भंडीग्राम इज अ स्मॉल विलेज नॉट फार फ्रॉम द केदार वैली फॉर पीपल हियर द समर मंथ्स मेंट अर्निंग इनफ फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द ईयर थ्रू द शॉप्स दे वर्क इन और ओन्ड अराउंड द टेम्पल वेर ऑल द फैमिलीज हैव दिस ईयर is the compensation that the floods left behind. The village of roughly 400 people saw 54 deaths in the floods. Sati Devi's husband, too, was a priest at the temple. He survived a head injury during the flash floods, but died a week later. 
she could not get compensation from the state. Now she barely has an income, but can't think of migrating at the moment. आएंगे आपकी गाड़ी केदारनाथ तक पहुंचेगी तो व्यक्तिगत फायदा मेरे को तो नहीं है ना वाइल अ मोटरबल रोड माइट बी अ डिस्टेंट ड्रीम द अप्रोच टू केदारनाथ इज अ बिजी साइट द शॉप्स एंड लॉजेस आंट अप येट बट द पाथ टू रीच केदारनाथ इज सीइंग अ कंप्लीट ओवरहॉल एंड ऑल दिस कंस्ट्रक्शन डज मीन लेबर सरप्राइजिंगली नॉट फ्रॉम उत्तराखंड but from the hill state of Nepal. Papa is a mystery. My mother is in the kitchen, so my brother is in the kitchen. In Nepal, it has to be up to 500. In any country, it has to be up to 6 months in India. Then it has to be returned to Britain. Labor migration has been a traditional livelihood strategy across the Hindu Goshimalan region. In communities in this region, circular or temporary labor migration has been practiced for generations. One example of this being the corridor that connects far western districts of Nepal with the state of Uttarakhand in India. The open border between the two countries and the low cost of transportation supports the freedom of movement. As for the Uttarakhandis, the cities of the plains are far more lucrative. They've always been. As per some statistics, nearly a thousand villages have been deserted in Uttarakhand. The old migrants have their reasons. मेरे को 35 साल यहाँ दिल्ली में हो गया है और 35 साल से मैं यहीं ड्राइवरी कर रहा हूँ ऐसे वहाँ पे कोई मतलब रोजगार नहीं है वहाँ ना कोई हॉस्पिटल की सुविधा है ना पढ़ाई लिखाई की सुविधा है कोई सुविधा वहाँ पे है नहीं बहुत लोग यहाँ पे हैं आधा गढ़वाल पूरा गढ़वाल यहाँ आ चुका है और वहाँ � And the newer migrants have their reasons too. Virinder works at his father's tea shop in the Jangpura area of Delhi. He has four siblings back home. And as they prepare for possibly a college education, someone needs to keep the stove burning. I was finished with my पढ़ रहे हैं अभी एजुकेशन चल रही है एक देहरादून से पढ़ रही है दो तीन गांव से ही पढ़ रहे हैं। बिरिंदर के फादर हैज बीन रनिंग दिस टी शॉप फॉर द लास्ट थर्टी इयर्स। दिस एक्सेस टू द सिटी विल बी क्रूशियल इफ एंड व्हेन बिरिंदर चूजेस टू मेक दिल्ली होम। करंटली दे लिव आउट ऑफ दिस शॉप � ग्यारह बजे तक दुकान चलाता है, उसके बाद सोना सुबह पांच बजे उठना, कमरा वगैरह नहीं लिया, ऐसे रहते हैं तो यहाँ रहने का दिल नहीं है, यहाँ गर्मी की वजह से ना वो नहीं है, रहना तो गांव में ही जाते हैं। अब लगना ही पड़ेगा जब काम करना तो लगना तो, ना भी लगे तो फिर भी करना तो है ना। and not everyone is willing to bear additional costs 
until assured of certain minimum provisions. दिल्ली दर्द और जाने के तो मीन सोच वो ये है अगर यदि वहाँ पे हमारे लिए कोई व्यवस्था हो या कहीं पे ये बोले भाई सरकार द्वारा या किसी भी द्वारा भाई आपके लिए कोई प्लॉट है या कहीं पे कोई कमरा है या मकान बना के दे दे तो जिस जंगल में रहना मैं कोई पसंद थोड़ी नहीं है या तो उतना क्वालिफिकेशन वो अपने पास पढ़े लिखे हों अगर जैसे हम लोग यहाँ से वहाँ चले जाएँ किसी होटल में काम करेंगे चार पाँच हज़ार रुपये वेतन मिलेगी दिन भर बर्तन मान लेगी तो दो तीन हज़ार तो कमरे ही का देना पड़ेगा तो वहाँ जाके हमें क्या कोई बेनिफिट नहीं है बट इन जनरल The metropolitan cities have improved their infrastructural facilities tremendously. Look at Hyderabad, Chennai, Delhi, you know, even Kolkata. You know, look at the infrastructural investment which have been made there the, in the airport, in many of the facilities which are used by the middle class and the upper class, the so-called middle class and the upper class. They have improved phenomenally. The cities have become really less friendly to the poor. You find metropolitan cities. Which recorded on an average about 40% of the people below poverty line before three decades now are recording 11% or 12% of the people below poverty line because the cities have become exclusionary. Uttarakhand is seeing increasing instances of landslides, heavy rains, and their resultant impacts year after year. The Himalayan region at large could continue to experience extreme precipitation events in the years ahead. As IPCC has projected about uh, the global warming and the increase in global Earth's temperature, so Uttarakhand is also sensitive to the increase in temperature. Major chunk of their water resources is uh, depending from on the glaciers, and uh, the uh, increase in uh, temperature will have an impact on uh, the rate of increase uh, rate of glacier melting. So increase in increase in glacier melting will be very much uh, recorded over there. It's being recorded already. What we commonly known as the cloud burst, so which is uh, which is one form of uh, an extreme event, extreme weather event, and uh, so there will certainly be a likelihood of increase in uh, uh, events which are like cloud burst or where uh, there is intense precipitation which is taking place in uh, in the region. सारे इस तरह पे आए उसके बाद तो सारे इधर ही आ गए. अब वहाँ तो रोजगार रहा नहीं अभी तो पापा के साथ ही हैं आगे गांव में ही कुछ करने का विचार है बिरिंदर मे बी पुश टू स्टे इन दिटी और रिटर्न टू दिल्स एज द टेम्पल टाउन कम्स अप अगेन पर लैंड स्लाइड एंड अनादर फ्लड कैन एंड विल ब्रिंग मेनी मोर बिरिंदर फ्रॉम द हिल्स इन टू दिटीज विल दिटीज बी विलिंग टू लेट दम मेक इट होम Bundelkhand is a land of legends. Stories of valor. Of a queen who fought brave and hard against the British and the Bundela kings before that. But the lightly overcast skies of a passing monsoon have a different story to tell. That of a different kind of bravery. This year was very late. The farmers have a lot of loss. फसल नहीं बो पाई बहुत कम होगी होगी तो नाम मात्र कम होगी अब तो उर्दा और तिली हो सकती है अब बास नहीं होती तो फिर थोड़ी बहुत कर लेते हैं खेती और कुछ पलान करते हैं बाहर मजदूरी करते हैं ग्वालियर वगैरह झांसी सीपरी दिल्ली बम्बई निकल जाते हैं कभी जो है किसी के साथ में जो है तो मजदूरी करते हैं द रीजन हैज सीन रिपीटेड ड्राउट्स सिंस द ईयर टू थाउजेंड nine droughts in the past 12 years repeated crop failures have meant greater migration out of the region since not everyone has the capacity to adapt to changing weather patterns jalwayu jab parivartit hoti hai to uski anukulan kheti ke taur tarike wo kisan zyada achhe tarike se talashte hain jinke paas achhe resource hote hain जिनके पास अच्छे रिसोर्स नहीं होते हैं उनको लगता है कि शायद इस सीजन में मैं खेती नहीं कर पाऊंगा, तो मुझे अपने 
आजीविका के लिए बाहर रोजगार तलाशने होंगे इनपुट कॉस्ट हैव रिजन एंड द रिटर्न टू एग्रीकल्चर हैव नॉट बीन कमेंट विद राइज इन इनपुट सो यू हैव अ लार्ज पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री वेयर एग्रीकल्चर हैज बिकम अ डेफिसिट ऑक्यूपेशन already there is the, you are living on the edge so one small one year or one season where the climatic conditions have uh, caused some problem and uh, you are definitely going to have a, a push for more migration but the question is also this migrate and go where where is the employment and so they do move to rapidly concretizing areas of the country like bahadurgarh a small town which is all set to be on the map of delhi metro hordes of labor with little or no bargaining power yahan to kafi aadmi aate hain sir yahan bhi aisa ji kabhi 400 milte hain kabhi 500 bhi mil jate hain mahina mein sir aisa ji kama lete hain चार पाँच हज़ार छः सात हज़ार इतने कमाते हैं तो उसमें भी अपना घर का भी खर्चा चलता है राजू सेज ही इज ओनली ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड इज ब्रदर विद होम ही इज कंस्ट्रक्टिंग दिस पिट इज अंडर थर्टी टू बट देयर बॉडीज हैव एज्ड वेल बी ऑन दर ईयर्स शादी होगी हाँ जी होगी शादी बच्चे हैं अभी आप एक लड़का एक लड़की घर वाली खत्म हो गई पढ़ती है लड़की स्कूल में अच्छा A medical insurance is of course way beyond their reach when the families live in houses like these. Their father too is a contractor. He supervises many laborers who come in from the region. Neither do they expect any benefits nor do they get it at least on the private constructions. Nahi. Nahi hai. सर वो मेरे वो उठाते हैं बीवी उठाती है वो लोग को क्या मिलता है कुछ मिलता है पहने के लिए सर पे वो सब बीटा उठाते हैं वो तो ज्यादा सरकार में जाओ सरकार में जाओ तो मिल जाते हैं हेलमेट जूते मिलते हैं और उसे भी प्राइवेट में जाओ तो ऐसी ये है अपनी सर से कुंडी बनाओ और अपने सर से लिया कर डालना वो तो सर अपने ही आपको बोलते हम क्यों देंगे अपने ही लियाओ खरीदिए द कंस्ट्रक्शन इंडस्ट्री डज नॉट अबाइड बाय एनी लेबर स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड आई डाउट इफ दीस आर दीस हैव इवन बीन टॉक्ड अबाउट Uh, essentially the gap between the principal employer and the last mile worker is so large now so wide that there is no uh, semblance of enforcing labor standards and there are no audit agencies or no audit protocols that are being followed by the construction sector their story is not very different for the challenges that raju or phulchand face are shared by birinder as well the stress caused by changing weather patterns and then adapting to a new city but in what is currently an exploitative relationship can things be different The winds were unrelenting. The Hudhud cyclone hit the eastern coast of India in 2014. Eileen, coast is bracing for a potential disaster. Tropical cyclone Eileen. Roughly a year after Phailin, another major cyclone that had smashed the coasts of Odisha. Parallels are being drawn with the super cyclone of 2009. बाबा 
The hoodhood took 41 lives. Dakhinabeda is a small village in North Odisha, close to the coast, part of the Kendrapada district that drains three major river systems of the state. The villagers are used to floods, but now what worries them more are the cyclones, as they have increased in their frequency and intensity. <laughs> घरे हमारो स्त्री करे युरुसिवा सा आउ पिला छात्र तंकर पढा पडी के हिसाब रतिले आउ एसे त बाहर जाइन करे रहि जंती आउ 5000 टका से हम कति पठे नो वंडर अविनाश इज हैप्पी दैट हिज सन वर्क्स एज एन इलेक्ट्रिशियन इन फार अवे नोएडा पार्ट ऑफ द नेशनल कैपिटल रीजन जस्ट लाइक मुन्ना who is a busy man. With the help of his team of electricians from Odisha, all hailing from his home district of Kendrapada, he literally holds a chunk of Noida under his thumb. He had moved to Delhi in the aftermath of the devastating 1999 cyclone. In 1999, there was a cyclone in 1999. When तो कुछ सरकार की तरफ से पहुंचा नहीं हमारे खाने पीने के लिए जुगाड़ नहीं बन पाया और खेती उजड़ गया सब कुछ उजड़ गया हमारा जिसी वजह से हम फिर दिल्ली आए इन अ टाइमली रिस्पांस टू द फाइलन इन 2013 द गवर्नमेंट हैड मैनेज टू सेव सेवरल लाइव्स कंपेयर्ड टू द 1999 साइक्लोन बट व्हाट दे कुडंट पॉसिबली सेव वर द क्रॉप्स द ट्रीज एसेंशियली the resources to carry on life after the disaster. This stretch of Kevra plantations right off the coast of Ganjam was completely destroyed in the cyclone. This is the Odisha has seen more than 32 natural disasters since the year 1963. Floods, cyclones and droughts. Different regions suffering different calamities. But the impact of all of them has been similar in one aspect. Increasing migration. It's, it's hugely affected by the, uh, the, the patterns of vulnerability that you see in regions. Uh, for example, Bundelkhand, you pointed out about successive droughts in Bundelkhand. And so also is the case for Odisha. But Odisha, uh, cyclones are, um, affect the coastal areas more than the inland areas. Seasonal factors exacerbate migration flows, but it is not only uh, seasonal. So you do find people migrating out simply because of uh, livelihood stress in the rural areas. And those people may not only be moving out in specific uh, times or specific seasons. Climate scientists across the world have taken note of the rising sea levels. And as per the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, global sea level is projected to rise during the 21st century at a greater rate than during 1961 to 2003. This could put at risk the lives and livelihoods of the people living across the coastline in India and South Asia. I think as far as India is concerned, South Asia is concerned, we also have the problem of, let's say, a neighboring country like Bangladesh, which is very low-lying and where coastal flooding, storm surges 
even before there is the real danger of being submerged by sea level rise uh, could lead to movement of people. Possibly it has been le leading to a movement of people. So I think displacement of people is clearly something that we need to ensure does not happen beyond what a dynamic mar market normally requires. But even as entire villages migrate to other states, people find home in the communities they travel with, a swath of people often entering the same profession or industry. While this bunch of electricians can exercise some bargaining power, most are not so lucky. And even for this group, there is no security net. Medical, medical, there is no help here? No, there is no help here. We have no help here. We have no help here. There was a person who came here, and he was 26-25 years old. He was working in plumbing. He was going to get out of his body. So, he had a little bit of a doctor here. So, he said that there was a water infection. So, he went to the village. He went to the village and got treatment. So, he knew that he was a blood cancer. There is a huge issue around uh, entitlement. Construction workers who are living in cities, on sites, often come without any entitlement to ration cards, to, you know, to cheaper food, to health services, to education for their children, to basic kind of uh, access to sanitation or uh, drinking water or accommodation. And therefore, they can live in highly compromised kind of conditions. It is a life that holds promises, but can also disappoint. Where the grip on hope is better with a sense of community around. But is there a world willing to help beyond this network of community? An unusual crash that is located right next to a construction site. It is meant for children of migrant workers. पहले इतने लोग जागरूक नहीं थे क्रश का इतना महत्व नहीं समझते थे आज महत्व वो समझे हैं क्रश का चाहते हैं हर जगह में क्रश हो पर कंस्ट्रक्शन साइड में ये काम इतना आसान नहीं है सो बेड़े के पास अगर हम जाते हैं तो बड़ी मुश्किल से काफी मीटिंग करनी पड़ती है उनसे तो Five, four, three, we have to face a lot of problems. There are problems that the children have a danger for the children. There is a situation for the children. There are problems for the children. There is a fear for the children. There is a fear for the children. When we see the center, we see that the child is safe. There is a timely feeding. There is a immunization. But the children have a lot of problems. There is 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 a lot of problems. And doctor is coming to do health checkups also. And we conduct parents meeting. So, उनसे उनको एक strength मिलती है कि ये हमारे लिए एक positive है और हम यहाँ बच्चे को छोड़कर free of tension हम काम कर सकते हैं। अभी तो हम सात लाख बच्चों तक पहुँचे हैं और बच्चों की संख्या बहुत है। And to create a security net. People form initiatives of their own as well to hold on to a sense of home and culture. Our association committee है, जैसे हमारा दुर्गा पूजा यहाँ पे होता है, sector 31 park है के park में दुर्गा पूजा होता है। ये एक जगह नहीं, आसपास में लेने के लिए सोचते कि हमारे मतलब बोरिशा के हैं, आसपास में जैसे ये मकान हो गया, दूसरी मकान पास में मिल जाए। ये सोचते हैं कि हमारे आसपास रहे हैं जैसे पैसे नहीं है किसके पास सारे कलेक्शन करते हैं थोड़ा थोड़ा पूछा करके कलेक्शन करके उसका हेल्प करते हैं जितना हो सके जैसे काम बढ़ रहा है ऐसे आदमी भी बढ़ रहे हैं काम तो उसी टाइप का हो जाता है ना बढ़ जाता है काम 
और गाँव में जाएंगे तो इस तरह का पोजिशन में क्या गाँव में जाके फिर साल भर में दो बार बाढ़ आएगा उसमें करेंगे क्या migration is one among several strategies available to a affected household the relationship between the environmental stressor and migration is not a linear one for example an increase in frequency of floods may not necessarily lead to an increase in out migration from the affected area this is because the flood impacts on the lives and livelihoods of the people are mediated by demographic uh, economic social, cultural and political factors. At the same time, there is a growing consensus among experts that among various determinants of migration, environmental determinants does influence the decision to migrate. The trains keep rolling into the city every day. Whether from the hills or the coasts, or from the deep heartland, bringing along people in search of a better life, livelihood, and education. India is highly vulnerable to climate change, and people will keep moving to cope with dramatically changing weather patterns. Internal migrants account for nearly 400 million a third of the total population of the country, with 100 million living in extremely precarious conditions. It is quite astonishing that the government of India and policy makers can think of protecting migrants who go to other countries, but don't think in terms of similar levels of protection or similar kinds of protections or policies for the internal migrants, those who migrate uh, from one state to another state, from one region to another region, because these internal migrants are clearly far more vulnerable and are much poorer than international migration. And they are often subject to the same kind or worse kinds of exploitation in labor market situations and other situations than international migrants. The cities and towns get built, fed and taken care of by these migrant hands. The economy booms with cheap labor and the wealth created makes the region attractive and proud. Still, many migrants are often denied basic human rights and excluded from the benefits of development. What can be done to facilitate the inclusion of migrant women, men and children in their new destinations? As the climate changes, it is time for us to change as well. Sada Vandir 
कहिले प्रसाद बंटी कहिले आनंद मनु 